All right, guys, welcome back to the world of Sunken Land. Today, we're going to do some major exploration. And I thought I was really doing the exploration last episode, but it was more of land exploration, which now that I think about it, isn't really the type of exploration that this world is built for. It's called Sunken Land. Therefore, we should be swimming underneath the water, exploring down there as much as uh, it kind of terrifies me. I'm going to do that. But right now, we're going to talk to Trader Jen here because I brought my duck and my Zippo lighter, and I want to see what we can get from her. Now, there's some reinforced structures. I don't know if I really want reinforced structures right now or paint, though, you know, it would be nice to make our stuff look really good. But she does have this underwater scooter and that I don't have enough uh, stuff to trade her for that. Uh, but she's got antibiotics. How much can I get from her? Ooh, lung function booster. Increases diving time temporarily. I think I might buy one of those. Oh, she needs more than that. Um, how about some roasted mushrooms? We've got a deal. I think we go with that. Okay. I got the antibiotics because um, I'm prone to getting in dangerous situations where I end up getting hurt. So I think, you know, it, it can't hurt to have some antibiotics on us. But let's check out the map here. So we've got a bunch of different areas that we can check out. And um, I'm not sure where I want to go first. So there is this mansion. That's one of the first places that I actually went to. So I think I might go back there. I couldn't really do any exploration at the time, mostly because I just don't have really the tools that I need to stay underwater for that long. But is this the mansion right down here? Oh, it is. Okay. But one thing I wanted to find was some marlins. Because we can use those guys to actually make some flippers, I believe. But I'm not seeing any around here. So I think we do without the flippers for a little bit. And we just see what we can find with the breath that we've got. With the speed that we're at. Um, can we loot this car? We can, of course. A bunch of uh, cloth and scrap metal. So I only got one cloth. I need a bunch of cloth. There we go. Now we're getting some cloth. Because this cloth is going to get us some rope. And I would really like some rope. Oh my goodness. I'm already running out of oxygen. I was not paying attention. Okay. But yeah, the cloth is going to allow us to craft some rope. Which is what we're going to need for some tools. Are these marlins? Oh! <gasps> I think they are. Or are they sharks? I don't know. We're going to find out here in a second. No, they are marlins. Okay. So let me get some air really quick. Let me jump back down and let's see if we can get some uh, skin from these guys to make some flippers. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Oh, they're quick. They're really quick. I guess they don't like being stabbed. There we go. Okay, so we got one marlin fish skin from that one. Ooh, I don't know. How much do we need to craft those fins? We need three total, so we might have to kill one more after this one that we finish up. And then we need to make some rope. I think we have enough for rope, though. Let's get back down here. Stab the guy with the stabbing thing on his nose. You know, I don't know why he's not defending himself. I think his spear's a little bit sharper and more dangerous than mine. But I'm not going to complain about that. And there we go. Okay, on top of the fish skin, we also get some meat from it, so that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna get back to my boat, and then, you know what, I say we'll come back to this mansion. I just want to find one more marlin so we can make those flippers, and then I think that's really gonna help out our exploration underwater. Okay, let's craft up a couple things of rope, and then let's go find a marlin. And there we go. We've got some diving fins. Let's throw these bad boys on. Where do I go? My feet right here, right? No? Down here? Oh, okay. So I guess we can also put some boots on some for some armor, so that's nice. And I guess while I'm here, I might as well finish off the couple marlins below me. And then... Oh. Oh, I am a lot faster. Yeah, I'm going to finish these guys off. Come on. And then um, we are right above some sunken apartments. So I think I'm going to explore that. Then we can go back to that mansion and check that out. Okay, so let's check this place out. There's a ton of buildings down here. I'm wondering how I want to kind of focus my search. I'm only going to grab a couple things out of there. I think I'm going to leave that because as soon as I take all the items out of there, 
it destroys that that uh, loot container. So I think it would be beneficial to keep it because I'm guessing that if we leave stuff in there, it will eventually refill magically. You know what, since there's going to be a ton of diving here in this apartment area, I'm going to try and use this lung function booster. I don't know how long it lasts, but hopefully forever. <laughs> but I don't think so. But it looks like, I think our oxygen bar is high, or like longer. Um, I, and it looks like it's going down slower, so that's nice. And the fact that I've got these flippers on now probably makes a big difference. Let's get some instant ramen. We've got some strawberry seeds home, at home. What do we got here? Some more cloth and scrap metal. Um, I don't need the wood just yet. We're going to do some more building. I did start adding on more of a roof back at my base, but there is one spot on the roof for some reason. I cannot put a, a roof piece in there. I can't put a roof piece. I can't put a, put a four piece. I don't know what's going on. Now I'm wondering, are areas like this, are they better just for getting things like scrap and cloth and wood? Or am I going to find... Ooh loot containers like this that might have some good loot okay we've got some components duct tape more cloth and a flare don't do a limited wide area of land or even in the pitch black okay oh maybe i should have left something in that container that's okay we've got a garbage can i can't imagine anything great's coming out of that yeah one component okay we're getting a ton here hopefully i've got enough room in my inventory i didn't even check we're going to have to offload in the boat here in a second. I just need to make sure that I can actually get to the top. Oh, okay. get back to our island i think i'm going to oh pants and a camisole b i don't look like just a tank top but i'm gonna have to uh finally craft some kind of bow and arrow or something some kind of ranged weapon because uh if i'm gonna take on these islands with like mutants and, and marauders things like that i'm gonna need some kind of ranged weapon this spear is not going to cut it so let me put these pants on it gives us a couple armor and this camisole <laughs> You know what? It gives us one armor. We're gonna we're gonna keep it. All right. It is getting a little bit dark, so it's gonna be hard to see. I wonder if we can actually use the flares underwater so that we can actually see better. I'm not sure. Um, I'm kind of avoiding the scrap piles for now. Ooh, curious. This looks, uh, it looks like gold. Oh, sulfur. Okay. Well, let's I guess mine it while we can. I don't know what this is used for just yet, but I'm sure we will find out eventually. And now before it gets too dark, I did see a couple storage crates that we can scavenge quick. Uh, components, duct tape. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave the scrap metal in there. We've been finding a lot of that, so I can do without. But I thought I saw one more in here maybe. Shoot, I don't know. Down here? Here we go. And just kind of some general stuff. Okay, let's get to the top. And let's not run out of oxygen. I'm going to need a diving tank. That's absolutely what I need. Let me check. Can we craft a diving tank? I don't think so. At least not right now. Um, yeah, nothing. So I'm wondering if we need to find a blueprint for it maybe. But either way, our island is right here. We are not far away. So let's get back to it before it gets too dark. We can enjoy the sunset along the way beautiful reflection of the sun on the clouds and then i think we should have more than enough in order to craft like a bow and arrow all right so <laughs> one little downside is when i tried to put a stairs right here it doesn't lock into place and the stairs are too long that they end up sticking up through the floor so right now we're just gonna deal with a little bit of a jump up and i gotta put doors on at some point too uh okay let's see here let's probably cook up some food add a couple pieces of wood and then let's see, can we craft our bow? We need some rope, which we can craft quick. Okay, so we've got a bow. And I'm holding onto the binoculars so we can use that in the future. And then arrows just cost wood, okay. 
And we now have 20 arrows. I'm actually gonna grab some more wood that I don't have. That's right, I chopped down all the trees on my island. So we're gonna have to go looking for wood elsewhere. There's two more planks in here. Is that enough? It is. Okay, so we have 30 total arrows. I think that should get us by for a while. I don't know if we can get our arrows back once we use them, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. But let's go to sleep for the night. Is it morning? I think so. I think it's like 5 in the morning. Okay, it's still dark, so I've got my torch out, but... I did notice, I know I'm kind of jumping all around from one place to another, not finishing any of them, but that's just kind of how my mind works right now. There is what looks like almost a, a boat that looks like a sail over there. So I say we jump into our little raft here. Uh, I, think I, I guess I got it stuck here. Can we push this? Oh, here we go. Okay, that should be good. I need to get in the driver's seat. And we are still stuck. Let me try again. There we go. Now we should be okay. All right, let's set sail over to this, I I think is another raft. Here, we can put our torch away. It's getting pretty bright out. Now, I don't know if there's going to be mutants or marauders or raiders, whatever you want to call them over here. So I'm going to have to be careful. Oh, interesting. Uh-oh. I don't know how to cancel this. Oh! So I jumped out of my boat instead and still shot the arrow. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh. Yeah, it looks like there is some life on there. Okay, I think I'm using the binoculars right now. Do I have to be off this in order to actually see the binoculars? No, it just kind of zooms in. Okay. It looks like they might have crossbows, but I see three of them. I think if we kind of keep our distance, we might be able to take them out one by one. But there's only one way to find out, so let's head over there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Those guys are definitely mutants. Apparently, this is the mutants raft. Now, I have no clue how to properly aim this. So I'm going to aim a little high. Ooh. <laughs> I actually got him. I actually got a shot on him. Yeah, missed that one. I'm going to try and just injure as much as I can. Looks like they're going to run away as soon as I hit them. Ooh, I missed that. Come on, stop moving, guys. There we go. Another hit. Ooh, he took a shot at me. That was really close, actually. Ah, oh, I'm missing. I think I do need to get a little bit closer here. All right, we got one down. Let's focus on this guy because he's aggroed on us here. Should only take, like, one more. Oh, I gotta actually hit him, though. Okay, this is not good. I'm actually running low on arrows. Um, let me get the easy target here. Okay, I've only got four arrows left. We're just going in. Screw it. I can't use the bow while we're underwater, so let me take out my spear. Um, can we? Oh, I'm under the raft. I don't know if he can get me, can he? Hey, buddy. Oh, he's trying. Oh. <laughs> I just stabbed him from under the raft. Let's see if we can get up here. Oh, boy. There was more than I realized. Okay, I'm running. These guys... Oh, there's more over here. Let's run some circles. They're just melee, though. I think I hit him in the head. Yep. Okay, we're doing okay. You haven't got hit yet. Turn. Uh, where you at? Ooh, he dodged that really well. And I'm out of arrows. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're hitting me pretty good. Ouch, ouch. Hold on, I gotta go. See ya, boys. Oh, let me get underwater here. I need to take the antibiotics. Okay, that's gonna bring my health up. It's not gonna be immediate. I gotta wait a little bit. Oh, I always get so overconfident in these situations. <laughs> Plus, there was a lot more on there than I realized. Well, I think all that's left are the melee ones. I don't think these guys have any crossbows to attack me with, so let me let my health heal up a little bit. Uh, shoot, did I bring any food? <gasps> we got some ramen. Let's eat some of that. That helps our health a little. Oh, the food can really helps, too. Okay, 
I'm going to wait a second. Hopefully these guys don't regenerate their health. But uh, I guess we'll find out here, and then I'm going to go <laughs> go for round two. Okay, our health is regenerated mostly, so let's head back in. They are still hostile right now, so I'm going to see if I can actually cheese it a little bit and get these guys from under the raft like I did the last guy. <laughs> yes, I can. All right, don't make fun of me for this. I'm desperate. I used up every arrow that I have. I'm not taking any chances out here. Oh, he's got some clean water, some bird meat and cloth. Okay. I'm gonna loot this guy too. He didn't have anything. There's a couple more. I might just go up there and fight them because it's really hard to see. Yeah, let's just go up there. I think we've got enough health and probably too much confidence. Oh, there's three, I think. I think we can bob and weave a little bit. Uh, yep, okay, that guy's dead. Oh, he almost got me. I think I've got the kind of uh, stab and move back movement down. Oh, that guy's got the crossbow. Come here. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's more. They just keep coming. Um, he's got the spear. Sneak attack. Ouch. Not very sneaky. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Run. Ooh, I'm almost out of health, too. I think I can get him, though. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> okay, let's confirm. Anyone else here on this little raft? Okay. Is there only one bed on here for all of you? Okay. I don't feel bad. Um, no loot from that guy. What about this guy? He's got some mushroom and cloth and some more clean water. I actually need to drink that water. Let's just drink that up. I think I can eat. Oh, wow, the large fish meat doesn't give me any health. This gives me plus hunger. Um, what about you? Nothing. Okay. Can I break these down? No. What about these? Yes, I can. Okay, we should come out with a pretty decent amount of wood from this at the very least. Dang, can I just take over this raft? This is amazing. Okay, what else we got? We can chop up their bed. They have no use for it, so let's attempt to do that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got some potatoes and cabbage. And a couple cell phones. We can sell that. A ton of scrap. Um, let's grab all this. I'm going to leave, I think, some of the scrap in there for now. Like I said, I think the loot might come back if we leave it for a little while. I might be wrong. Oh, okay. So we've got the blue pattern chair blueprint and the red claw sofa. Oh, wait. We can just use these. So then we learn them. Okay. I don't know if I did that with the other blueprints. I thought I found other ones. And we've got some silver coins. Oh, that didn't destroy this. But we can't loot it anymore. Open up the inventory for it. What about this? Oh, we got some bandage boots. Better than nothing. You know, our, our, our top end could use a little work. Maybe we could use a little bit of a haircut. But we got some kind of scrappy ammo pants and, and boots. So I guess that's kind of nice. Okay, I think I've looted kind of everything. Let's double check up here. I left some scrap in that box. I don't think there's anything else. There's a barrel here. Yeah, we got 40, 53 wood now, so that's really good. Yeah, this is my base right now. You know, not not a ton going on, but yeah, this roof piece. I don't I can't I can't get it there. I don't know what it is. It just won't lock in there. Let's add a bunch of wood. We'll add some food. Unfortunately, we can only add one piece of food at a time. Let me see here. We've got some roasted fish, so that will give us 40 health. And I'm wondering if we can cook up this cabbage. I'm I'm certain we can cook up the potato. But we're going to need some more storage, so let's craft something up for that. And it looks like we can stack the storage, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, is there anything else? Oh, I guess I can make a, a metal chest. I wonder if that's going to give us more slots than a wooden one. Or maybe, I guess, just more protection for when those mutants and raiders come. Um, let's check here. We have one, two, three, four, five rows of five, so 25. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, just the same amount, just it's stronger. 
Okay, let's take this food. Let's add some more. I might, I might have to make a second grill. This is just way too slow. Unless there's a bigger one that I can craft. Doesn't look like it. If there is, I wonder if there's blueprints for it. Because it looks like there are a ton of blueprints that we can unlock. Wait a minute. When did I get the desert camouflage top? I uh, don't remember getting it, but now we're putting that on. It's got more armor and it looks a little bit better <laughs> than the tank top. Uh, I'm going to see if I can use that for trading. Uh oh, I hear footsteps. What were those footsteps? Hello? <gasps> yeah, we've got company. Hold on. Let me uh, craft up some arrows quick. Okay, these guys are just melee only, it looks like. Oh my goodness, but I'm not very good with this bow. Okay, just go after me, not my base, please. Whoa. I thought I just heard something get thrown at me, unless that was my arrow that I shot. Hey, stay out of here. Yeah, something's like getting thrown at my base. Is there someone around here? Uh... I have... Oh, we got one more. Here we go. You know what? I'm not wasting arrows on you. You're not much of a danger, are you? Well, I guess they probably are more of a danger than I realize, considering I uh, don't have any health right now. But they dropped a little bit of loot, so thank you guys for that. How about you? You got anything? Nothing. Okay. It looks like I can add my cabbage to that, so that's nice. Now, I don't know what I can do with all this charcoal. I'm getting charcoal every time. Oh, wait. Mainly used for crafting black powder ammunition. Okay, sounds like we can make some bullets with it. And we do have the broken old bolt action rifle, which would be really cool to fix up. And we do have some gun parts. But it looks like we need a gun workshop. Now, do we need to find blueprints for that? Or can we craft it right now? There's the research table. I wonder if I need that first. We need some components and scrap metal. I think we've got plenty of that. Okay, yeah, we have more than enough components and scrap metal, so we should be able to craft that up here. All right, let's just put this right there. And let's, oh my goodness, there is a ton. So there's crossbow, a two-hand axe, some crossbow bolts, some metal armor. Oh my goodness, oh, we can even craft components if we wanted to. And apparently there's a refrigerator. Wait, do we... Do we not need electricity or anything for that refrigerator? Hold on, let's uh, grab the electronic parts that we have. And then we can research it. And it just unlocks it, okay. So let's see here. We see a refrigerator anywhere. <gasps> right here, so we need more electronic parts and more scrap metal. The metal's not gonna be a problem, it's the electronic parts. I think I only have just the one on me. Let me check my boat. I highly doubt that I have it in here. Yeah, no more electronic parts. Okay, so those are going to be a little bit more rare. But I was looking at the research table here, and it looks like there's the different tiers, and we can unlock the or upgrade the tiers up by using the different components that we get. So this next upgrade just needs metal, wood, rubber, and components. The rubber, I don't think I have a ton of. I've got nine, so it's not nothing. Yeah, I think that's all I've got for that. Okay. So, I, we don't need to upgrade just yet. What I would like is maybe this crossbolt. Yeah, I say we craft that crossbolt, even though I just made a ton of arrows. Um, let's craft rope, and then head back over here. Research the crossbow. Oh, then I'm going to have to research the bolts for it. And then maybe the two-hand axe. I'm wondering... I don't know if that's going to give us more wood... Or if it's just going to be less swings to uh, chop down trees and stuff. Yeah, unlock the two-handed axe. And then I also wanted to grab some duct tape. I only have one, but that's going to allow us to unlock the scrap metal spear. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to craft it just yet. Yeah, we're going to need more duct tape, which I definitely don't have. And I don't think I can craft any right now. But I think we can craft the two-handed axe and the crossbow. And oh my goodness, does time absolutely fly out here. I didn't think I was really spending that much time back at my base, but the sun's already setting. So I don't know, maybe I can change that a little bit in the future. Uh, we'll see. Let's craft this axe. Maybe we can hold on to this and use it as bartering. 
Not sure. Okay, now I've, I've resorted to scavenging for wood again because I already ran out. Uh, I burned through the wood in order to craft up some of the stuff that I've got in research. But I'm hoping to find enough here on the island. There's a crab. You're safe for now, little buddy. You keep doing your little crab rave. Yeah, we just absolutely burn through it. Um, shoot. I might have to go to sleep for the night. Oh, there's one more. But I might have to go to sleep for the night and do some more scavenging on another island or underwater area in order to get some wood. Oh, we are one short. Oh, we're so close. Hold on. I'm going to go look for some more. Oh, <gasps> look at that. We found it. Okay. Wait, for some reason I was thinking that I needed more wood, but I, I, I have enough to make this crossbow, so I'm just going to craft that up. I don't know what I was thinking about making, but I do need two more scrap metal just for crossbow bolts. Do I have any left? I've still got 17 total, so let's craft some up. It makes 10 at a time for just two scrap metals, so that's really good. I'm going to make 40 total. I kind of regret because that takes up two slots in my inventory right now, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Let's put all of our arrows away. We'll use this if we need it for some reason in the future. I don't know if our crossbow is going to have durability or not. And then I am going to sleep for the rest of the night, and we're going to need to get some more wood, and then we're going to need to, uh, I don't know, get everything, I guess. Let's see if we can reload this. Is it already loaded? Looks like there might be a bolt in there. I think there is. We're going to have to try this bad boy out. I can't wait to try this thing. I wonder if we can use it underwater. Ah, shoot. Come on. It would be fun. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm here. Oh, I'm thirsty. Hold on. Do I have any soda or anything? Uh-oh. Uh, I, I don't know if I have anything to drink. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. We got to go to the trader anyway. Uh, where's she at? Um, what direction is she... She's, oh, that way. Okay. I'm going to run over there, see if I can trade anything for at least just like a soda or something, and then see what else we can buy. Maybe she's got, now that it's a new day, maybe there's a new inventory. Maybe we can get some good blueprints off her too. I've got quite a few things that I can actually trade in, so I'm excited to uh, see what she's got. All right, Trader Jen, what do you got? Um, nothing to drink. Shoot. Okay, well, while I'm here, let me grab the rest of my stuff from my... Oh! From, from my storage here that I can sell. We've got a painting, some cell phones, and I think that's it for now. And let's see what we can buy from her. Let's just throw this in, cell phones. Can we do the axe? I don't know if she wants it. Cell phone. Some silver coins, and I think that's it. He's got some wallpaper, some reinforced structures, and floor tiles, and 50 cal ammo. I don't have that, but is it enough for an underwater scooter? Get lost, she says. Um, what about the wood that I have on me? Some crossbow bolts, some large fish meat, a bandage, charcoal, cloth. Okay, nothing. She doesn't want any of that. All right, fine. What about an antique flintlock pistol? What do you take for that? Um, painting, cell phone, silver coin. Okay, we've got a deal. Now I've got a flintlock pistol. Uh, j I just don't have ammo for it. All right, I do probably need some antibiotics. Um, let me see if I can grab three from her. Okay, I sold pretty much everything in my inventory. Might have been a mistake, but that's okay. We've got some antibiotics. Maybe we should take some right now. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then we need to search desperately for some water or soda or something. Uh, otherwise, we're going to die out here. And then I don't know if you noticed, but I also did craft up a couple stamina herbal mixes. It was just one strawberry and I think one mushroom. So that should help with some stamina issues. Uh, if we're going to like run to like a raiders or a mutants island, let's jump off and jump in here really quick. Um, I'm hoping we find something in here. I don't think we're going to find it in the washer. Uh, is there a refrigerator anywhere in here, please? I think I'm losing health. Oh, I got to break this down. All right, well, we have a two-handed axe now. There we go. Um, anything? Shoot. <gasps> refrigerator, please. <gasps> Soda, thank you. <laughs> and then these are going to give some food and health, so I'm just going to use up that food, too. Let's grab some wood while we're here. Oh, I'm out of oxygen. 
What am I doing? I gotta pay attention. Oh, okay. Okay. We're doing okay right now. Let's go back down into the underwater mansion and see what we can find. Oh, can we get in this roof? We can, and there is loot in here. This, 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 that's kind of cool. Let's see what we got in here. Cloth, scrap metal, duct tape, and components. Let's see. Um, probably, I guess, just more scrap metal, right? Yeah. As fast as we use the scrap metal, it's really not hard to get some more. Oh! <gasps> we have the blueprint for a motorboat. Beautiful. Let's take all of that. Let's learn these. Gasoline-powered boat. Um, and then some green wallpaper. Neat. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, let's take the tank top and wooden chair, and we can sell that stuff, too. There's this giant concrete chunk right here. And I'm trying both my axe and my pickaxe on it. I don't seem to be able to destroy it. It shows the little icon like I can, but I don't know what's going on with it. But I'm wondering if there's an alternate entrance. So I'm going to go back down. Uh, can I get through a window? Can I break these? No. It's on this side. Is there an open? Oh, it's wide open over here. What? What is the point of this? I don't think I can destroy it. I'm not getting anything from it doesn't seem to be taking any damage no matter how much I hit it okay whatever we're gonna get we're gonna stop doing that let's get a little bit of wood we are getting cloth from this little shelf thing Oh, here we go. Diamond ring, some antibiotics, lung function booster, pudding, cotton seeds. That'll be really good. Oh, that's my next goal is to build some planters. That way we can sustain ourselves with some food as well as some more wood. So we can plant like trees and obviously some cotton as well now that we've got some cotton seeds. So we can have our own little farm on our island. So that's, that's pretty neat. Okay, so I've been looting for a little while and getting a bunch of different things. Nothing too crazy. But looking at the map here, it shows that I'm about 44% done with looting the mansion area. Which um, means there's a lot more... What in the world? A boat just tipped over on me. Okay, well let me drive it. I'm going to bring it back over here to Trader Jen. And see uh, if there's anything else we can buy. I don't think there is. But we'll go back to the base and we'll craft up some planters too. I think we should have a decent amount of wood for that. Okay, so some really good news. I just added a bunch of random stuff that I had in my inventory. Including some of the, just the stuff that I can really only sell. And it looks like we actually have a deal for an underwater scooter. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to use it. Whoops. I don't know if I'll be able to use it right away because it might need one of these batteries. But I think it might be worth it. Even though I'm giving up all my cloth, I don't like doing that. Plus some antibiotics and a lung function booster. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can get rid of that and put some food in. I can. We've got plenty of food back home. So I say we go for it. I did not expect to have enough for the underwater scooter, but... I am so glad I did. Hopefully we can actually use this thing, but we gotta get back home, put some planters down, and we'll give it a shot in the morning. Okay, I'm home. I haven't crafted up any planters yet, but I did craft up a bucket. And with that bucket, uh, oh, I can fill it with seawater. But with this bucket, I also crafted a water purifier. So I guess add wood and add seawater. Okay, so apparently it only counts as kind of one seawater, I guess. And so we have to do this five times to have it full, but I think it's still working regardless. But I had to do that because I'm absolutely desperate right now for some clean water. I only found the one can of soda, and uh, that's not going to be enough to get me by. There's one thing that I didn't think that I would die from out here. It's thirst. I, I, the one doesn't really... Oh, hold on. I think I just took water. Not sure, but either way... Oh, wait, no, I drank water on accident. Okay, beautiful. 
Listen, I'm still figuring this thing out. I guess I was looking down here and I chose the option to drink water. So that's cooking up and that's going to give us a little bit of clean water finally. Help us really self-sustain out here. All right, one more and then it should kind of fill up with all clean water. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's grab some food off of here. Add some more meat on it. I'm going to go to bed for the night. And then, let's see, I think I've got a bunch of wood on us to make those planters. Uh, no. It takes 12 wood and 3 cloth. And I'm pretty sure I got rid of all of my cloth <laughs> when I traded for the, uh, the, the, the scuba thing. What is that called? The underwater scooter. Here's some wood, though. At least we're still finding wood kind of randomly on our island, so that's really nice. What do we got in here? We don't have any more cloth or rope. That's not great, but we'll make do. We're still making progress. We're still, uh, we're still surviving out here, and we're doing pretty dang good so far, actually. Why is there... Oh, I guess it ran out of wood. Okay. I thought the, for some reason the water just stopped. Like, it was in there, and then it emptied. I don't know. But it's there, and I'm happy. I've got food as well. We actually need to munch on that a little bit. Now, let me see here. Can we... Okay, we put this in our hands. Yeah, so there is a battery signal. It's showing that it's empty. So this probably doesn't work, right? No, I don't think so. I think we're going only as fast as our flippers are allowing us. So I think that's the next goal is to get a battery for this bad boy. And we're going to be cruising. It's going to be a lot less of an issue to be underwater. Okay, we need to get out of here. Unfortunately, I don't have the stuff for planters, but I'm going to jump on my raft. We're going to find some more cloth. We're going to put some planters down. I think I'm going to make a backpack because I haven't made that yet. I think it should give us some more slots in our inventory, which I desperately need right now. So let's head out. I say we just go straight ahead to whatever island this is. There's definitely enemies on it. But I do have some antibiotics on me. I think I sold my only bandage. Uh, I don't make good decisions. I'll say that. Okay, so this is definitely mutants. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get an angle. Yeah, I see some up there. Uh, I think I'm just going to go in. Okay, this guy sees me. He's in the water. Oh, gosh. I already missed my first shot. I can't see him when he's underwater, and I think I just hit his shield. There we go. I got a good hit on him. And that killed him. Two shots. That was perfect. Okay. Uh, he just had mushrooms. Let's get up over here. Uh, here, got him on my left. Um, let's take out this guy's not suspecting anything, and that was an instant kill. So if I can get a good headshot on these guys, which is difficult when they're moving, then I can take them out. That guy took 126 damage. And he took 126 more, and he did not live for that. Yep, that hit his shield. I'm going to run by you. Excuse me. Shoot. Yeah, I can't get any of my bolts or arrows back. But I am much more accurate with this thing than I am with the bow and arrow. Look at that. Good night, buddy. Oh, a cup of water. Thank you. I'll drink that. There's more. I missed that so bad. <laughs> All right, stop moving. No, I told you to stop. Come here. There we go. And some more water and cloth. That's good. Let's loot these other guys quick. Where are your bodies? I thought I killed one or two of them over there. Well, there's this guy. What do you got? Nothing. Okay. Is that everyone, though? Let's make sure this whole island is clear. Let's take this out and reload it. Yeah, it looks like we're good to go. Okay, give us some cloth, please. Okay, we got a little bit from that. And we have a desk blueprint. Okay. And then a globe and some high-end perfume. Some baked beans and more cloth. That's beautiful. We have 10 already. I'm going to leave the baked beans in there. We've got plenty of food. Kind of hoping that it kind of regenerates. We'll definitely take the soda. Mushroom bird soup. That sounds horrible. 
we'll, we'll leave the rest in there too. You can break that down, get some scrap from there. We can search that. I'm going to offload some of this stuff here in the boat. I can bring this a little bit closer now that all the uh, mutants are dead. Goodness, I got so much scrap metal from that. Okay, I'm not complaining. Uh, I can't search this. I think I've got everything on this island. Now I'm wondering, will they come back? Will mutants come back eventually when I come back to this island? Uh, I think they might, but I believe there is some kind of like land claim thing that I can make. I don't know if I... I, I swear there's some kind of land claim. I might be wrong or I might just not have the blueprint for it. Either way, we came out with a little bit of wood, a little bit of cloth, so let's get back to our island. It's already nighttime. I need to find a way to extend that. I might be able to, but it just goes by way, way too fast. We're already on day seven. I think four days have passed so far, and I just, I can't do anything at night. I mean, I can, but exploring underwater is impossible when it's just pitch black down there. Jumping to islands probably isn't as bad, but it's still just kind of a pain. But I think we at least have some light here so that we can make some planter boxes. Let's offload some of this stuff first. So I've got some room in my inventory. And then let's head over. Let's craft. We might make a couple of them. Uh, I don't know where I want them. Can I? Oh, I can only put them on a platform, can't I? Well, sunlight and water can get through this. So maybe we just put them inside for now. Okay, so let's find where did we put some of the seeds? So we've got cotton seeds and then probably a bush seed too. Is that cotton's going to allow us to make cloth? Let's put one in there and then the bush seed is going to allow us to get some wood. Now I can't see anything because it's too dark and I used up the rest of my wood on the two planters. But let me see if I can find anything to light up this place really quick. Here we go. Okay, we've got some bird cooking up, so we'll have a little bit of food. And once morning comes around, number one, we're going to check out our little planters, see how they're doing. And then I've got a little surprise for you. Now, I don't know how well it's going to pan out. Spoiler alert, I might need another battery, maybe some kind of fuel. But we're going to give it a shot. I can't just not do it if I've got the stuff to build it. All right, good morning. Let's eat some of that food quick. Let's drink some of our water. Oh, drink, not take. And then what I want to do is head over to the build menu and I have all of the parts for the motorboat. Gasoline powered, which I don't have gasoline. I know that. But at the very least, I can say that I have a motor powered boat. Does the chest hold the same? Yeah, it does. Okay. So we need fuel and I don't have gasoline. I don't know if we can make it or if we just have to find it somewhere. But what I should also be able to craft here is the sack. No, no, I don't have rope, do I? No rope, no rope. I could use the cloth to make one rope. Oh, <gasps> no, I do have rope, okay. I was gonna say I can use the cloth to make rope, but then I wouldn't have enough cloth to make the sack. Okay, so where can we put this right here? And there we go. We have five more slots. That's actually, it, it doesn't seem like much, but that's going to help out a lot when we're out looting. Okay, so for the plan right now, I really wish I could use this bad boy, but I don't have gasoline. So we're going manual today, and I'm going to run to the trader really quick and see if she's got anything new, see if she's got gasoline maybe. I think I have a few things that I can trade her with, and um, we'll see if we can power that boat if she's got gasoline. If not, we're going to head off to another island. Maybe one that's a little bit more dangerous, but I did craft up a few more crossbow bolts. I think we have like 56 now. So even if I miss a few shots, which I inevitably will, uh, hopefully we can still kind of take these guys on. I don't have great armor right now. I'm not very skilled with the combat out here in Sunken Land, but my confidence tells me I can do anything. So <laughs> that's what we're going with. Okay, so she does have just the batteries. It's, it's the same inventory. She hasn't refreshed. I don't know how often she does, but let's see if we've got enough. I didn't take anything from my raft, so let me go grab that stuff here really quick. I think I've got stuff in here. 
Yes, I do. I've got a globe, high-end perfume, and that's kind of it. But I'm hoping that'll be enough. Maybe with a few extra things, we'll see. Let's grab this battery. Put the globe in, no deal. High-end perfume, not enough. How about this tank top? Still not enough. How about this mushroom bird soup? She needs more than that. Okay, this is risky. I gave her two of my sodas, which I <laughs> clearly have needed, but we have a deal. So, in theory, if I run back to my base really quick... I can grab that underwater scooter and we can do some real workout diving. So I think it's worth it, at least for now. We've got the water purifier, so I'm not as worried. But in order to actually take water with me anywhere, the bucket's not going to do. I actually need a water bottle and I don't think I can craft that just yet or at all. I'm not sure, but maybe we can also find one out looting. Okay, I don't know how to use this thing, but we've got a battery. I think, can we just drag it on? <gasps> We can, it looks like it's got full battery now. I gotta go test this bad boy out. Oh my goodness. Holy, we go so fast, but I'm, I'm draining the battery really fast too. But uh, wow, look at this. I'm already down to 96, 95%, but I absolutely zoom underwater now. Yeah, we're taking this with us. If anything, we can use it as a getaway, just a quick escape. But I'm trying to think of what could be a good spot to get some decent loot. But I think that's like a pretty big area to loot. You know what? Screw it. Let's go to District 43, see what they got. It's already getting dark. I swear, I'm not messing around and trying to kill time. It, the time just flies by out here. In the meantime, we can chop down a new bush that's grown. Get a little bit more wood around the island. Do a circle around here to check if there's any more trees, but... Check this out. I think this is all completely grown, isn't it? Can I chop this down? I, d <laughs> I don't know if I'm chopping it down too early. Or if I'm even doing anything. No, it must not be fully grown. I think I should probably also separate these a little more. Because if I'm going to have some bushes like this in here, it's going to make it impossible to see the rest of the plants. But we'll let that grow a little bit more, and hopefully it'll be done soon. Uh-oh. Look who I just saw pull up. I was just looking for some wood around the island, and these guys were just on their way swimming over here. Let's take our spear out for these guys. Ouch. Ouch. I'm bleeding. Okay. These guys are more dangerous than I realized. Okay. We got him. Oh, there's another one. He should take enough damage with this next spear. Yes. Okay. But I am bleeding. I don't have any cloth. These guys have some cloth. Something. One cloth. Uh, is that all I need? That's all I need. Oh. <laughs> that is so lucky. Okay, so I'm going to wait the night out, and then we'll just go out one more time in the morning. All right, it's the next day, day nine. We've cruised through six days so far, almost an entire week. And what I decided to end up doing is there is this big underwater... What is this? Oh, this is District 43. Okay, so we're going to do a little exploration down here. I'm going to take out the scooter, and we're going to do some looting and scooting, I guess. <laughs> My main priority is to kind of find like the loot crates. Can I, is this one? No. Uh, loot crates and things like the refrigerator. So that way we can get some food, we can get some water, and hopefully some blueprints and things like that, or some bandages and antibiotics. That's really good. I did take one of the pills. Oh, red coral. Or red algae, sorry. But I did take one of the pills that's going to allow us to stay underwater longer. So that's going to help a little bit. And I've got the scooter on me, so. We can get to the surface so much faster. Look at that. And we can immediately go back down. Now, I know there's ores everywhere that we can mine, but I don't really have a use for them just yet. We don't have anything to smelt them down or really anything like that. So I'm not super worried about them. We'll just have plenty of them around the island for when we are actually ready for them. I don't think I'm looking in the right places right now. What is this? Oh, scallops. Oh, I was... I thought I was looting this big mound. But it looks like I was looting the uh, machine, washing machine, I think, next to it. 
Uh, nothing in here. Nothing. And I think that's just wood there. Let's get some breath here really quick, and then I'll go back down. Oh, <gasps> we got some pistol ammo and some more gun parts. A ton of pistol ammo. Oh, that makes sense. That was a cop car. I, <laughs> I just realized that. So that's really good. Um, we got to be running out of inventory space. We are. I'm going to keep the red LG. That's going to allow us to make some medicine. Let's see. This There's this big building. Is that... No, that's not a shark. It's just a marlin. We're okay. Um... Not a whole lot going on down here. Can we loot this, please? Yes, we can. <gasps> we got some blueprints. Okay, I don't have... I, I need to go back and unload really quick, and we'll grab all that loot. I don't think we can use that pistol ammo just yet. I don't have an actual pistol. I have that flintlock. Uh, we can try it, though. I'll try and take a few shots with it. Oh my goodness, I also just realized I have gasoline. <laughs> I did not realize I picked some up. It must have been in that cop car. Okay, well, beautiful. So we should be able to get our boat up and running. Let's grab all of these here. We can sell so much of that. Use the blueprints for floor tile and a square table. I'm not super concerned about that stuff. Anything else in here? Some wood, more wood, scrap pile. Oh, we can loot the garbage though. Oh, I already did. That's just got some wood in there. What else we got? We got another vehicle. That's gonna be our best option for gas. We're running out of oxygen. Let me go back up. We did get one tank of gasoline. Beautiful. And I've been using a scooter kind of quite a bit. And I'm already down to 71%. So, yeah, batteries are going to be kind of important when it comes to using this thing. I don't know if I should have used it in this area because it's not all that deep. But I got to try it out. Might as well. Can I loot this? Did I already loot this? Uh, apparently not. Okay. Now, according to the map, I've only looted about 19% of this area. I wonder if that includes all the ores that I can mine. Because I'm not finding much else. And it also makes me very uncomfortable going into these deeper, darker areas. Oh my goodness, I'm already down to 50% battery on this thing. I feel like I've looted most of the things here, except for maybe, I guess the scrap metal. That's going to account for a lot. Let's go up and get some air. We'll get a little bit of scrap metal. We'll loot this car that's right below us. And then we'll head back to the base and we'll try out some gasoline on our boat. All right, let's dock the uh, paddle boat here, jump off. Can we unload anything in here? It is quite full. Let's unload here in the base. I like to keep some of the stuff that we can sell in the boat so we just have it on us at all times. But a lot of this stuff can go into storage. And we'll eat a little bit and we can get some health out of that too. Okay, let's go back. Let's grab some gasoline. Oh, I already have all that in my inventory. And let's see how this works here. Add fuel. Okay. Uh, let's, well, let's push this off a little bit. Probably not going to go anywhere just yet. I just got to try this thing out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Now we're cruising. Let's see how fast we can get up to. Uh, I think I saw Max out at about 85 kilometers per hour. I think the paddle boat was like around 45 or something like that. So this is a huge upgrade. All right, let's turn back. Let's get back to the base. What I want to do is... Oh, wait. I can go faster. I forgot about that. I mean, it probably uses more fuel. But I think I got up to 100 kilometers per hour, which... Um, I don't know. It seems like... I'm not going that fast, but I'll take it. And it looks like this is probably done, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So now I know when they're done when they have the little icon for it. And we got a little bit of wood from it. And now does it stay planted? Is that going to grow again? Because it doesn't give me the option to add any seeds. But I can collect some cotton, and I got some more seeds out of it. I'm going to replant the cotton. It looks like the bush just stays planted, but the cotton I had to replant. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's go back. Where's our flintlock pistol? Um, am I blind or is it not here? Did I sell it? I might have sold it on accident. Okay, so I guess we're kind of staying in the uh, primitive age with the... Well, not completely primitive. We do have the crossbow, so that's really nice. This thing is pretty dang deadly. I really like shooting this thing. But I guess the next upgrade is probably guns. Um... We're going to leave this. This is going to be our little sunroof. 
And uh, yeah, we've got a full-on motorboat now that just absolutely cruises. We have our little scooter so we can absolutely zoom through the water. And I didn't think we were gonna make these upgrades this fast, but I don't know, things kind of work out. That trader really helps out a lot though. If you've got the right stuff, which we have quite a bit of things. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We did a lot. It took us about a week here in Sunken Land. But hey, that was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. Like I said, we got a lot done. We advanced quite a bit here and I'm pretty happy with it. So I can't wait to keep exploring. I know there's several different types of guns that we can get at some point, And I assume that we could probably get some kind of scuba tank. So I'll be on the lookout for that. There's a ton of different blueprints that we can unlock and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to upgrade the base, make it look <laughs> a little bit prettier than it does right now. But hey, it's home. It's a shelter over our head. We've got a fire, we've got a grill, we've got a water purifier, which reminds me, let me take a drink quick. And um, yeah, we're making some good progress. We're surviving. Somehow, some way, we're able to do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please throw a like on the video. It really does help out. Subscribe if you do want to see some more of this type of stuff. Make a ton of videos on survival games, and I have an absolute blast doing it. And I hope you guys do too. But I'm going to stop my rambling. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later. Later.